Dean, thanks for joining me. How have the lads come through the week in training? Yeah, we had a bright couple of days. We had a couple of frank conversations as well after the weekend and the results over the weekend. Um, and we just spoke about you know cutting out errors, individual errors, which have cost us over the last couple of games, last three or four games. And we want to get back to uh, sort of getting on the front foot again. And we've shown that in periods within different games. Um, second half against South End, we had a good goal. Um, obviously, never managed to get the equaliser, but we had a good goal. And uh, we just got to start games much better and much brighter. And obviously, when confidence is low, if you give away sloppy goals and sloppy penalties, and you know, uh, don't pick up in the box when you should be, uh, it's going to hurt your confidence ways and mentally it's, uh, it's destroying. So, we've got to pick ourselves up, dust ourselves down. We sort of hopefully we've licked our wounds and we move on to the next game and it's easily away. We've got uh, Reese Green, he just got concussion. So, uh, the new concussion protocols, this is automatic, you're out for three weeks, which is quite frustrating, really. Uh, he had a clash with their goalie last week against, against South End. So, another one sort of falls to the wayside and it joins the long list of, uh, in the physio room. So, look, it is what it is. Um, and then the other situation is uh, Jordan Thomas uh, has a little bit of an issue as well. So, we'll see how he is tomorrow. We'll have a fitness test and see how he gets on. Um, he's done a little bit today with the, with the medical staff. Uh, the performance team so we'll see how we'll see how he is tomorrow so the rest of it is really the squad we've been working with over the last couple of games just a point separates uh, us and East Lear what sort of game are you expecting obviously both teams low on confidence to be fair to East Lear they've played some of the tougher teams in the division over the last four or five games um, they had a really good performance away at Wrexham um, and obviously got a good result against Torquay last week watched that game as well good game actually really good game to watch entertaining end to end game and they've, they've got threats, they've got good experience, a lot of experience within their group. Um, so yeah, look, there's no easy games within the division. It's, uh, you know, you sort of just got to look at sort of dog and boring mood last week and stuff like that. So it's such a tough division and you let your guard down in it, you'll get beat. And uh, for us, we want to get back on the front foot. Uh, we've got to make sure we cut out the errors, you know, naive, silly errors, we've got to cut them out. And uh, we've got to walk our socks off. Um, We've got, like I said, we've got to graft to the opposition and make sure that every player individually against their, whoever they're playing against, they come out on top. And uh, if we've seven or eight players that will do that, we'll have a positive result. You said you said we saw a response from the lads against uh, South End. How are we looking to, to build on that performance uh, when we go to Eastleigh? Yeah, we just got mentally we got to be right. You know, we can't give up silly goals early in the games, which we've done now in several games: Solly Hall, Wrexham, um, South End. Dagenham, which can't concede early like we have. We've got to be a little bit tight, a little bit more focused. I know it helps when you play the same back four every week and you know Aston still being out is a nightmare. And then the same goalkeeper. So we've just had a lot of chopping and changing, you know, uh, which is out of our hands. So many injuries. So but like I say, the lads have got to create their own stock and, and get their stock high. And you only do that by winning football matches. We've shown in different occasions going to Maidenhead away, where we're good, we went to Halifax away, even though we lost, but we've got a great performance. We've got to get back to that level. Um, here against Bournemouth, here against Dover, here against Torquay. So we, we've got to step up, you know what I mean, and make sure we perform um, just for, for our own sanity, really. I know we like to take it one game at a time, but obviously we've only got five games left of the season. What, what are we looking to, to get out of them? If we can go one beaten and then five games, that's the challenge I've sort of put to the players. Um, and hopefully we can, uh, we can start tomorrow where we go there. and we, you know, We've got to put a bit of pride back into the short. Um, but I say I know it's difficult. I'm not making excuses. I know it's difficult. We've got a lot of players out injured, and key players as well. Um, so, but the, the other uh, squad members, that's what they're here for. They want to play. Every player tells me they want to play. They've got to perform when they play. I want to hear players say, I want to win. You know, how do we win? Yeah, work hard at the opposition. Show us what you're good at. Do what you're good at. Earn the right to do what you're good at. So, that's the messages this week. Um, it's been a tough time. It's been tough for myself as well. It's been frustrating. It's been very tough for our supporters. Um, I'd like to thank them for sticking with us. I think that's so important. We've just got to stick together through this sticky period. I, I know you said um, that, that some, some of the players that are playing for their futures, are you going to maybe look at, look at these next five games and perhaps give yeah. some minutes to uh, some of the players who haven't had a look in? Well, they've got to earn their minutes. They've got to earn their minutes. So at the end of the day, they've got to perform for themselves. Yeah, and Look, they are playing for their futures. They know that. They're not stupid. They're not naive. Um, they've got five games really to you know to make sure they're here again next year and um, it's not a trip you know I, I, you know I don't want to talk about it openly but the boys have got to perform you know it's an opportunity every time you cross the white line there's always somebody watching um, so they have to do that for themselves and their family's sake as well as for their football club we want like I said we want a bit of pride back in the short and um, we come up against some good sides I thought Solihull were a very good side and Dagenham were a good side but 
the score lines are just like you know don't, not good enough to be totally honest with you so um, we've got to improve majorly and what would you like to say to, to the Barnet fans making the trip tomorrow yeah I'd like to thank them you know especially for the positive support I, I know it's been difficult um, I know it's been frustrating we're all frustrated but, you know there's, there's more bad times in this business than good times so when you go through the bad times you've really got to stick together and, uh, at times we've shown this season we, we are a good side um, we've just been inconsistent and we've been very unlucky with injuries I've never known about like this in my life um, so yeah so we've just got to stick together we've got to keep walking our socks off and any supporter will tell you of any football club once a player walks his socks off you know they can accept that so from our point of view we've just got to concentrate a little bit more not give away schoolboy goals and make sure we give the, give our supporters something to be proud of